and welcome to Norris Cove or welcome back. I'm Yoshida. Today we're going to be getting into our paycheck to paycheck. I'm a little bit late, but nonetheless, we're going to just hop right on in. Um, this is from last week. It's paycheck to paycheck, which was April 18th through the 24th. Um, let's go over it real quick. So we estimated 700 because I looked a little slow, but I ended up doing $1,030. And then for nails, we didn't do anything. Um, we did have a customer, they um, had to reschedule. So we didn't do anything for that. Um, Norris Cove, I had put 50, then I had put zero, but by Saturday, um, because I did release some new things, only my um, group members saw it. So we did generate $83.14. And then miscellaneous, uh, I had a birthday gift from one of my planner babes. I'm not going to shout her out because I don't want people to think, you know, she's rich or anything. But one of my planner babes sent me $50 and I'm so appreciative of that. So I added that to my income and that was $1,163.14. So that's why I always add miscellaneous sometimes because you just don't know um, what will happen. You may sell something or what have you. And then we had car note down that got paid. Um, T Mobile that got paid. I only owed them, I think, $66. I think we talked about this. And then the booth rent got paid, and my car insurance got paid. And then I put, I made a note here that I got an increase on my Walmart card, of course, because I've paid it down and only have one payment left to be paid, pay it off. And so um, they increased it to $800. My credit score went up about <laughs> 32 points, you guys. I've increased my credit score since March by almost 90 something um, points. And all I can attribute it to is paying things ahead of time, paying extra, paying early. And I know there's some type of method, but when I got my taxes, you all know that's what I did. I just gave every credit card 100, paid off a lot of the credit cards. I think I paid off, ended up paying off like two or three. I paid off like a firm, which I think they do a soft inquiry on your credit um, report. So all that jumped up. And this is my second increase since March. The first time it jumped up 45 points on one, I think 15 or 12 on the other one. And then this time it jumped that same one that jumped 45, jumped 32 and then 12 on the other. So <sighs> I'm just going to try to stay on the good, good foot. But um yeah, that is it for last week. So let's hop right on into this week. Um, I think I'm going to leave. I have it on my other calendar. So I'll just use a smaller A6. So I want to do a little highlighting. Um, I'm going to use this Tombow. I got this from Cloth and Paper. And I think this is their olive. I can't make a straight line to save my life, but okay, whatever. And then I'll make a highlight the notes. I'm gonna highlight here. I do total just to kind of give it a little color. Again, I try to remember, but you can find this insert on my website, www.norriscode.com. It'll be linked below. Um, it is the Paycheck to um, Paycheck Weekly Check-In. So we're doing April 25th through May 1st. And I'm gonna just put my projected uh, income, put hair, nails, Norris Cove and miscellaneous. Here, uh, we're projecting, uh, let's do our 750. This is almost the first of the month, so it may be a little higher, but I like to rock it uh, right about 750. That way I'm not, that's something that is obtainable. Um, nails this week, I think I may have a couple of nails clients this week. I'm going to put that at 40. Um, Norris Cove, um, I do have something or two coming out this weekend. Um, I'm going to try to do more than just my um, group. So we're going to put that at 50 again. I just try to keep that low because you just never know. Okay, so let me whip out my A6. Here's my A6, which is my everyday carry. I keep my finances in here so that way that I can um, look at them on a regular basis. 
so here this is what i use to track weekly in my um everyday carry and i just check things off i've already paid paypal they've already gotten their money they got it quickly okay so let's do the 25th paypal let me move this a little bit and i gave them 35 i gave them a slightly above the minimal minimum but i'm going to jump back on it because i wanted to put a little money aside for my car insurance which i did i held 100 from last week in my bank account to cover my car insurance and i think we've talked about that so next up is car insurance on the 28th and that is 206 next up on the 29th we have godaddy and that is my email service and i next year i'm going to just do it by the year because it's more expensive to pay it monthly 741 and then we have booth rent <clears throat> excuse me booth rent at 250 and then cloth and paper comes out on the first and amazon sometimes amazon will come out on the second and cloth and paper is 38 dollars <clears throat> excuse me amazon and i can't remember the new price so i'm putting 15.77 and i will add any corrections um once i see what it is um let's do a little totaling and we got a total this as well i can already tell this is 840 and let's go ahead and total this Okay, so we have $552.18. And we'll just round it off to like $552. Put total there. Okay, so in my notes on my everyday carry, I have that I need to save for next week's bills, the credit cards that are due. And I will be going to Richmond this weekend to see my sister. And next week, my great nephew comes. I'm so excited. And so I'll be back again. So I need to save for that. So I'm going to write those notes down. I'll probably speed that up. Okay, so now let's subtract this 552 from 840. And we have 287.82. 287.82. That's what we have left. And so it's really not a lot. Again, I'm trying to budget for groceries, things like that. And I'm going to put down here in the cash envelopes, grocery. And I'm going to do 100 for that. Um, I'm going to try to do savings, um, my savings, 25. That is my goal. I'm going to eventually get this done is to give them $25 a week. I want to work my way up to $25 a day. That could end up being almost 10,000 at the end of the year. So 25 here, 100 here. So what was that? 287. So that would leave it 187 and then take away the 25. That would be, let me just do the math to show that. I can do it. I'm just, I want to be right. Let's see, 287. Point eight two subtract one hundred twenty five. So that would leave me with one sixty two eighty two, and that's what I'll have left. So um, again, this may or may not. And what I'll do is I know I'll be traveling again. So like I said, sixty. I just put filled up my tank for sixty dollars. So I already know sixty is going to probably go to my gas. And the rest will probably be for travel. So, if anything is left, let's pop this back in. So, that is it for this is this week's paycheck to paycheck, you guys. Um, this is what it's looking like. Um, 
again, these are always guesstimated as me being a business owner, entrepreneur. These are always guesstimates. And I try to go as low as possible, but these are definite things that are coming out. They generally don't fluctuate. Um, these bills here, they generally don't fluctuate fluctuate unless they've gone up or something like that so i think this is very obtainable so even if i only make 600 dollars for the week i could cover my bills so my main important bills so that is all for today i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if this is your first time stopping by do me a favor hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed today's video also hit that notification bell so that you're notified whenever i upload new content to this channel thank you so much for watching bye